we wanted to do a review of all the scientific trials that had been conducted that have looked at how pharmacists can help patients with their medicines and improve their health. This is the biggest review that's ever been done of pharmacist services and how effective they are. We find that with some pharmacist interventions, they had a really um, positive effect on patient outcome. So in particular, there are conditions, uh, long-term conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. And it was those two conditions that the results were particularly favorable. So the pharmacists were, were in different settings for the trials in this review. Some of them were in hospital outpatients, some of them were in community pharmacies, some of them were in general practices, general medical practices, and some were out in the community. So, um, but we know that there's lots of community pharmacies that across the UK, for example, and um, we know that the public aren't always aware of all the benefits they can derive from, from going to see their pharmacist or going to see a practice pharmacist. So um, it's, it's an untapped resource, perhaps. Pharmacists can have a really important um, contribution to make to help people um, manage their health conditions and that um, in so doing, um, we can increase capacity within our health system in order to um, make sure that these people are treated and treated effectively, in particular, using their medicines to manage their conditions effectively, safe and effectively. Many of the conditions that were evaluated or explored in this review, in the trials in this review, were, um, were long-term health conditions. And we know that we have an aging population and that with age comes, um, we, we, we get more of these long-term conditions. So this is a growing problem. So we need to make sure that our health system is equipped to um, cater for this growing number of people and to try and maximize the benefit that they can derive from our health system.